Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this Patreon voted episode, we watched Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. This is one of the films that I we we'd have rented it on block from Blockbuster when it came out and I've maybe seen it like a couple of times since then uh, it's get, been easily 8 9 years since I've seen it I reckon that's a lot more recent than I thought it would be <laughs> I've seen this film so many times I feel like I've caught it on TV a lot oh, oh yeah, yeah this is a thousand percent a TV film channel 4 channel 4 or channel 5 film or 100% apparently BBC 1 or 2 that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I was very surprised when I looked where to get this film, and it was on iPlayer. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it was a pleasant I, surprise I had, at first. I had this film on video, on videotape. Oh wow! Um, I also had a card, a life-size cardboard cutout of the poster. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more. We oddly enough, when it hasn't lasted that long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we got it from like the local video shop. I really hope you've got some pictures of you with that. I don't, I don't. Weirdly enough, it wasn't like, oh, I'll take the pictures with it when I was younger. No, I don't have any pictures with it. But you just have to believe me. (laughs) Or Photoshop one. It just reminded me that I have a a birthday party photo of me and a bunch of people who went to my birthday party with the really not great sculptures of, um, I think it's like the Monsters, Inc. and various other cinema like characters at the, what was it called, the Granville Theatre? You remember outside, they always had those um, not I mean, I've never actually seen the weird statue things out there. You haven't? Oh, maybe they got rid of them. Yeah, they must have done, yeah. That's so sad. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Uh, so... So this film... This film, so we 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 start... Before before we do start, I think we should re-preface that this is... It's a very hot today. Yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. I'm sort of... I've been tranquilized. I'm going to get through it. It's very hot. We'll get through it. Uh, that's what you want to hear at the start of a podcast. We'll get through it. Don't worry, yeah. listeners. We'll deal with it. Uh, it's our problem, yeah. not yours. Yeah. So, yeah, Tomb Raider, Lara Croft's Tomb Raider. Yeah, so we start off in an ancient Egyptian tomb, which probably gets very hot, and that's why she wears such short shorts. Yeah. Except so it's not. It's not real. Because there's, there's a robot in ancient Egypt and she, uh, and then she, she spends the first five minutes of the movie doing the tutorial level and it's actually just not real yeah yeah so, so before I started watching this film I was like I'm gonna look up because I thought that this was one of the best like movie to film well game to film movie to film adaptations um <laughs> one of the best game to film adaptations ever I thought it was amazing I remember this film being really really good I then was just like I googled the film and it has a dire score on like Rotten Tomatoes and stuff is yeah, like, it's people like it's a bad film and I was like I remember this film being really good I want to go into this film thinking it's really good that was a mistake <laughs> but it is um, good in a in a it? bad kind of way yeah no I, yeah, I really enjoyed this one <laughs> I guess I guess it is technically uh good in a bad way but yeah fuck was I disappointed <laughs> oh no <laughs> have the rose tinted glasses of nostalgia been smashed well, it's just, like, all the stuff that I liked about it. I'm watching it again, I'm like, these are bad. These are bad. All of the things that I liked <laughs> are, like, bad now. So, um, shall we start with the accent? The Lara Croft, Angelina Jolie as... Well, yeah. that is the first bad accent. <laughs> so, yeah, her accent is... Stilted? The poshest, like, the most fake English accent I think I've ever heard. It did sound a bit like... Angelina Jolie and Daniel Craig were just trying to do bad impressions of each other the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I forgot Daniel <laughs> I Craig forgot... was in this. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot Daniel Craig was in this when he showed up. I was like, oh, oh Daniel James Craig. And the bad guy James is um, Jorah Mormont from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I mean, but I yeah, she, she's got a terrible English accent, which it's, it's, not ba- it's not a bad English accent. It is a bad English accent if you listen to English people semi-regularly. Like, we can tell it's bad, but I don't think, like, people that don't listen to British accent often would be able to yeah, tell that it's Yeah, you just be like, oh, they bad. just sound posh, I guess. 
Yeah, she just knows the Queen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we know people, nobody sounds like that. Like, two people sound like that. Even, yeah, it was yeah, weird. Including the Queen. Yep. Mm. She's one of the two people. I don't know who the other one is. They'll find them. The other one's there. Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine if the Queen sounded like Danny Dyer. <laughs> so no. I, I sort of immediately, I did struggle a bit with the nostalgia and kind of teen horniness battling the sexism of Lara Croft. Okay, can we go back a tad on that sentence? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> The first half of that sentence. You, the what? The te- what? Teen, well, it's just, you know, when I watched this as a teenager. Oh, yeah, you had pretty, a crush on Angelina yeah, Jolie. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. We discussed Jolie. this. Yeah, in, oh, yeah, every film is going to come up. Mm. Yeah, we discussed yeah, this in the obligatory movie. Angelina Jolie shower scene. Well, and later on, you have the obligatory Daniel Craig <laughs> yeah. shower scene. I was yeah. like, well, at least they balance <laughs> it out. Yeah, and yeah. in this um, one, he's not breaking into someone else's shower. <laughs> Yeah, no, I forgot about the whole Mr. and Mrs. Smith episode we did. And wanted the and very wanted. first episode. Yeah, yeah, and wanted. <laughs> yeah, we've, so we've you... actually done a lot of Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie yeah. was prevalent when we were teenagers, and it had <laughs> an impact on more of us than the other. Really? Which of us had the cardboard cut out of Angelina Jolie? <laughs> Which one of us turned out gay? Uh... <laughs> we're just looking at her too much. <laughs> I got too right now, much of it. fed up. I'm bored of this now. <laughs> I don't want this one. Angelina Jolie and thus all women. Not for me. <laughs> that was it. That's what got me. Um, yeah, you just found her a bit flat. People were really upset when Angelina Jolie was cast in this film because they were like, she doesn't have big enough tits. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Is isn't that, that gross? I mean, because she was cardboard, but okay. <laughs> that wasn't me. I mean, what were they, no, were they expecting her to put on like some sort of Madonna bra? <laughs> I'd have loved that. You say that yeah, like it was lean a joke. Into the triangle theme. Yeah, it would have been great. How how that would have been made this film a lot better if she just looked like the bad polygon render, <laughs> uh, but in like makeup and like cardboard. I've seen cosplays like people have done really good cosplays of like polygon. Yeah, but this was like early two thousand two. It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be a good thing to look at. It would have been funny. <laughs> I, I don't want to get to the plot of this film because I cannot. Why a uh, big clock? End of the world? Well, not end of the world, but sort yeah, of time. Yeah, I've, I've got it. Got enough notes for it. If, but of... if you want a quick I run through, I don't it. want. To... Honestly, Dan. Honestly, completely honestly, I don't want to live through this again. Hmm. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> let's go on to another topic that I wanted to address, no, which is could... why does the planets aligning mean anything? They should go through. Okay, so what's it going to do? Basic plan. They of... never explain that actually, do they? They're just no, like it's like significant. The... So a lot of this at most, isn't... all it would affect is maybe gravity. <laughs> yeah, well, not really. And even then, gonna, I don't like, know. Throw each other out of exactly. I think it just sounds cool, but actually, it's like does. Fuck I mean, that's all. almost all of this film in a nutshell. <laughs> as much yeah, as I do point. hate it, I feel like we should give some frame of reference for this. Yeah, so she there's a clock that starts ticking. Yeah. Uh, oh, her dad went missing. So, yeah, so we learn basic like framework of this film because that's about it that's in the film anyway. Lara Croft is. Rich woman. Everyone knows who Lara Croft is. I don't need to explain that. Um, Dan, take over. <laughs> cool. So, the she is just like doing a workout and a shower, and then it shows um, the Illuminati are waiting for the planets to align so they can do something by getting a triangle. And her dad found the location of the triangle and hid it in a clock. Half a triangle. Which starts ticking. And then they... Get yeah, the, the, I thought it wasn't the to... triangle. I thought it was the middle bit. No, it's the key. Yeah. It's the key it's so the... that they can try and get the bits for the triangle. Yeah, um, um, yeah. I found it really confusing that the triangle split into two bits because I'm like, no, that's a three number. <laughs> yeah, no. I was well, like, that is a good point. No, that is a good point now. Two parts of the triangle. That is a good point. No, I didn't think about yeah. that. It would have been much better. <laughs> also, like three is a better number to like break things. Ah. Oh. One mistake also, why not just there. get the first half and then yeet it into the ocean? Because they needed. I don't. Well, she it's the Illuminati. in the They'll end she like it. wants to bring back her dad. Yeah, yeah. So she doesn't get rid of it, and then she does it to bring back Daniel Craig instead because he totally deserves it. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to do James Bond. When people yeah. die in films, they die in real life. This is a fact that we all know. <laughs> uh, yeah, as just, discussed in yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
<laughs> that so was different. They doing... were actively killing the children on set. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you, I want to talk about how she found the stupid clock because we can all agree it's a stupid <laughs> clock. It's a dumb it's a stupid, just... yeah, stupid time. I mean, clock. have you guys seen the new season of Stranger Things yet? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Is there a clock in that uh, that goes uh, backwards? Uh, there's a clock in that, and every time the clock's there, the bad guy's coming. Okay. Uh, anyway. Oh, oh, that. yeah. No, I have seen that bit. That I just wasn't. Hasn't the new bit of Stranger Things come out or not yet? Oh no, not yet. I've oh, okay, I've cool. still got one more episode of the old bit. Really? Anyway, <laughs> and you can cut all that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the interesting bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. I Don't yeah, I'm struggling. Like as much as I sort of enjoyed watching this film, it's None already it like in. fading yeah, away from yeah. my memory, ready for me to watch it again another time in like maybe a couple of years. So she gets the clock and she's like, huh. This is a funny clock. And then she I... takes it to someone and they're like, huh, that's a funny clock. Yeah. So this clock is all powerful. Like, this clock is holds the key to time itself, is what, essentially. Uh, all yeah. powerful, all magical, whatever. It's so stupid in the script. And what actually happens of how she finds the clock, because you'd think, like, oh, something would come up. Maybe she, like there would be something, like an explosion or something. She accidentally or, discovers like a the room. way they explain it later of the you know she gets a letter time a time like dated delivery letter from her dad. Yeah, but no, that's not it. <laughs> she goes to bed and she hears some ticking in the distance, and I got really angry because I was like, yeah, How? And she kind of has a weird dream about. Is it a dream that she has about her her and her dad chatting that reminds her about it? And yeah, she can just hear. And then she hears the ticking, and then she finds a secret room. Yeah, she goes off and yeah. breaks down. Yeah, which room. I'm not surprised. It's fucking big. Yeah. yeah, and but I'm I'm also like, why wasn't that storage? Like it's a cupboard. Un- it's I mean, you I mean, could have a storage. wizard in there. Technically, it was storage. <laughs> But it was just annoying that they were like, does she find it logically? No, she hears it ticking in the distance and she goes off and finds it. And that's like a problem throughout this film is how do we fix this problem? I don't know. She just fucking does it. <laughs> she just yeah. stumbles across she it. succeeds the quick time event. Well, what's annoying? The, 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 I, so I played, we should actually go through this. Does anyone else play the Tomb Raider games growing up? No, I wasn't allowed to um, violent. I've I've not really played the old ones, but I've played the newer ones. Right. The old, like they're very much puzzle based. It's puzzle yeah. and action, and the puzzles aren't you stumble into the right place at the right time. They're actual puzzles. That's well, kind of the same issue we had with um with the Resi film as well. Yeah, but yeah, she just stumbles into the right place. Watching and... people working out like game puzzles is pretty dull, I guess. Sometimes. Yeah, they're only interesting because you're doing it. <laughs> but, she, but she, but there isn't like any other reason for her to find these things. She just yeah. does. That's the problem. Yeah, I, I don't know if they maybe thought about having a more convoluted way of finding them, and then they were told, no, it's too long, it's not action enough, we've got to fit in the 30-second shower scene. Maybe. Yeah, we need to fit in the two shower scenes. But yeah, the way the way she kind of finds that, it's you're still very much in, it's still very much first act, like, expo kind of yeah. stuff, where it's like, we just need to dump lore <laughs> on you as yeah. frequently as possible. These are cutscenes I would skip. Yeah, 100%. I felt like skipping them whilst I was watching it. <laughs> um, next chapter but there's also like next a chapter. angry robot which i just want to talk about the robot the training robot yeah. uh i chekhov's robot yes um, because it feels like that's going to come up again later and it doesn't it comes up right that the whole end. scene the whole scene goes on for like five minutes as well yeah like... you can't introduce a killer robot that is under the control of her team at the beginning yeah, and then of, like the, he goes the to turn act. it on, and you're like, oh, okay, he's going to use it to fight the bad guys when they invade her house. Yeah, and he doesn't. It it's doesn't. like, oh, I'm out of batteries or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Chekhov's robot, Chekhov's killer robot. Yeah. So it sort of okay. it does that thing where it like sets us up to like expect something to happen, and then doesn't really keep yeah. that well, promise. It, it's Chekhov's gun. If you have a gun in the first scene, you have to. If you have a gun in the first act, you have to have it shoot at the third act. The and audience then it just, just comes back it. at the end of like a cutscene. Yeah, it's like a, oh. <laughs> what's it called? It's a cutscene. No, it's a cutscene. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, oh fuck this film, man. So yeah, after she finds, ba- yeah, basically, good. Uh, she goes, she sends it to her friend to have a look at, and he's like, "Oh, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I can't help you." But maybe this person, and then and then he's obviously really upset about it and drinks a lot of port. Um, and then she he sends her to he, he's like, "Oh, no. actually, I've been yeah. thinking. You need to show it to my other friend." He knows more about clocks, but what he's doing is dobbing her in, which he obviously didn't yes, want to do at the start, but he's convinced he has to. He's a member of the Illuminati, which is such yeah. a dumb villain. 
like group. Yeah, they have. also did they not get the rights to saying Illuminati? You're not allowed to say that because they don't call it that, do they? I th- I think they did. Did they? Yeah, they do. I oh. think she says you're a member of the Illuminati at one point. Yeah, they say it a few times. I don't do think they? that there's a copyright around the word Maybe. Illuminati. I don't remember them. To be fair, wasn't paying great amount no. of attention, but I was paying some <laughs> attention. I tried no. to go and get snacks a few times. Also, whilst whilst she was looking at the, because this all this is all happening because the planets are aligning. Yeah. Um, she pronounces uh, Ur- Uranus very specifically hmm. to not say Uranus. She is says it Uranus. 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 Ur- yeah, that's it. She says Uranus. No one says it like that. <laughs> I remember my music teacher saying it like that because it's obviously you know like the the planets the symphony thingy. Sure. You know the the planets. Hmm. Yeah, and I know the planets personally. <laughs> just don't know what they just not in a symphony. Just not in a symphony. I've never heard them. I've never heard them play before. Are they any good? <laughs> it's Gustav Holst. Mm-hmm. You thought that would? I'd go, oh yeah, that. <laughs> when I didn't know what you were talking about in the first place. Anyway, it's oh, it's, it's really famous, Holtz and piece. you're an uncultured swine. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> it. We are sat here talking about <laughs> Lara Croft's Tomb Raider. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. My music teacher... Anyway, the reason he was talking about the planets wasn't because he was, you know, subbing in for the physics teacher. And he'd call it... Did he call it Uranus because he didn't want to say Uranus in front of a load of students? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it felt like here in the film. It felt like she was she was told to say it like that because it's like, we can't have you say Uranus on, like, a PG-13 yeah, all the kids film. Yeah, la- all the kids will laugh at you. <laughs> all the kids they'll ask all the questions. They won't see why is she having a 30-second shower scene. They'll <laughs> say, why did she say the name of a planet? Why did she say Uranus? Or like a, a speaking coach told her that that's how English people lied to her about how English people say Uranus. Actually, yeah, my music teacher did it was very posh. Oh, it might just be a posh thing then. I mean, it's probably a posh thing. They don't like <laughs> too to posh Uranus. to say we'll anus. <laughs> yeah, far too posh to say anus. I mean, at that point, you yes. just have it sewn off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Helps with the tips you and tones. It, you have it removed by a servant. <laughs> well, rich people don't poo. That's vulgar. Exactly. Why do you think the Queen's lived so long? She uses all of the nutrients from the food she eats. You mean the people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people can be food, Helena. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> people, people can be anything they want to be. <laughs> anyway, back to a group of old people that have but lots you, of money. You and can tell, like, we don't scenes. really want to talk about this film. No. <laughs> I've already run it. out of, like... Jokes. Well, there's okay. So the, okay, so, the so people they're... attack the mansion yeah. and steal the clock, and Which then she's is... like, oh, "I've only got a few hours left." And oh, there's no, there's a cool bit where she does like a, a yeah. jump with an ooze. Yeah, they they'd like, like a, say like a bike, and it's awesome. Oh yeah, she's just doing some you know bungee jumping in her yeah bungee Massive bouncing in house. her house. Which yeah. I mean, like to be fair, I'm like if I fancy do doing that. that and I had lots of money, yeah, I'd give it and a big enough house, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then they all break in, and so there's all uh, like I did really enjoy the, um, the, the action scenes. Great. Like they're really I fun. Yeah, <laughs> oh. I mean they're just so <laughs> dumb, and they're really quite badly animated. Um, they're just... Yeah, they're they're really over the top and yeah. dumb. They're though. really over the top and long. They're so bland, though. <laughs> I just enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't I don't uh, know how something could be that like um, quote unquote cool. But bland at the same time. I don't know how it was like the same thing like... over and over. Like she does a cool move where she like throws one of them into one other, and then she does it again like four yeah, or five yeah. times, and it's like okay, she's clearly yeah, just she's... learned that move. And then yeah, she's button mashing. She's only she's not That's long true. done the tutorial where she fought the we... robot, and all she remembered was one combo. We never see her do a roll, a flip, and another flip, and I'm <laughs> upset by that. Um, I, that's another thing I have a problem with this film is they, there's not enough like game references in it. No. I mean, there's a bit where she's like going down the hill in with huskies. That was very I mean, gamey. But like small things, like there's um the. <laughs> well, she the doesn't game... clip into a wall. No, <laughs> like in the game, like a really famous thing from the game is you can go to the mansion and like as like a practice range kind of thing and oh, like cool. explore. Um, and part of it is there is a servant that follows you round all the time. And if you shoot him, he blocks himself with a, a tray. <laughs> and I was like, just once, I'd like to see. Like the the servant guy, the waiter. Doesn't he hide behind a tray at one point though? He may have done, but Isn't like... That the exact reference you're saying you wanted in the film. There's a <laughs> maybe I didn't I don't remember that. I remember. I think when she the... she's smashing up the clock and he's hiding behind the tray. No, but like I wanted him to get like shot. Is like well, she does shoot at him as well. He just doesn't have a tray at that point because he's got a shotgun. 
Yeah, both. I yeah, he's in pajamas and a bulletproof vest, which is a hell of a luck. Because that's part of it. Also, another fucking annoying thing is watching him get ready to fight, and then it does not happen. It's yeah. Really annoying. Yeah. He like fires two shots, and then nothing really happens. And yeah, yeah. But the I'd like to see him like holding up a tray to defend himself because that's the from a bullet shot because that's the reference. Yeah, the only time in the game. Also, you can lock him in the freezer. That never happens. In the film. <laughs> Maybe they were saving that for the next film. Yeah. There was a next film. It's she's, not in the she's next never film. like hmm. slowly going along the ledges and yeah, no, falling off and of reloading. And... Yeah. One thing I will say about the action scenes in this in this film, um, she has the best, the coolest reloading f- sequence out of any film I've ever seen. Yeah, that is really cool yeah. with Incredible. the thing coming out the backpack. Which brings us to like the next exciting scene, which is when she's in somewhere. Well, she gets to Cam. Yes, with it was some filmed in Cambodia. Real fast and furious shit mm. by like going down in a in a Land Rover, parachuting into Cambodia, yeah. which was actually filmed in Cambodia. Cool. The canoes look really fun. Yeah, it was the first film to be filmed in Cambodia since like the seventies. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did they have like a bad dictator or something, or did people yes. just not? Yeah, that'll, there was a, there was a regime. There's a regime, and you know, stop anything. But imagine this being the first film. The bad guys are all trying to pull apart an entire temple to break in, and she just drives past the side entrance. Yep. Yeah. Again, she just finds, she just does stuff, and there's no yeah. rhyme. She's already or read the like speed run. Tutorial. Yeah, she's yeah read exactly. The book. She's read the little help and... book that comes with the cheats <gasps> yes. guide. Yeah. Not cheats guide. And then there's a scary kid yeah. in the ruins, and yeah, the kid that's just sort of appears again in yeah. Russia and is like it's kind of there. Yeah. I think it's meant to be her as a kid. I don't know. NPCs. Yeah, don't know. and then and then she falls through the floor and she passes another quick time event because she manages to grab on the rope in time because she would have broken her legs otherwise. I don't remember any of this. Yeah, her falling <laughs> through the like. Does she look at something or like to pick up something or like or does it just collapse? I think it just falls through mm. and then she's in the. Big that's kind of frustrating area. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. you know she should have done something to deserve. Like getting that the punishment of like falling through, like the same like in most video games, it's like a trap. Like you pick something up. Yeah, exactly. And are like you, the bad thing happens. Are you noticing the thing that I notice, which is nothing? She never actually interacts with anything. Everything just happens around her for yeah. no reason. Yeah, like even yeah. even the next scene when she finds the um the actual place to put the yeah. So the the uh, enemies, which is. Daniel Craig, I was calling Craig David. Very different. <laughs> uh, Daniel Craig and. The villains, the Illuminati, because so Daniel Craig is like an another explorer, an adventurer, archaeologist, um, archaeologist. Yeah, he's the uncharted guy. Yeah, he's uncharted, and he's like, oh yeah, I know all this. And they find, and while they're looking for like the place to put oh. the key, and they only have like another thing as well is it's timed, which is very video gamey, but it didn't feel like it, and that's why I don't like it. Well, they kept on uh, saying no. it in the most ridiculous, difficult to imagine amount of time as well. It's like, oh, we've only got sixty six hours left. Yeah, like, and it's all to do with the alignments of the. Is that like how many some, sweeps yeah. is that? Yeah. How many how many lunches? <laughs> Give me a point of reference. Yeah. Uh, so they find it on the floor. He's counting down. He's like five, four, and she's very smugly stood there going, "Well, I found the actual. Sorry, but well, I found the actual one, and it's up here." <laughs> Yes, and yeah, like, you don't get the there's payoff. like a minute left altogether. Yeah, yeah, like you, you, what you really want to see is them obviously put it in the thing it's... and it go wrong or like set off something else and they don't and it's really frustrating. Yeah, well, she does the standoff, doesn't she? She's like, well, if you put it in there, it'll you'll have to wait here for another seven hundred years because nothing will happen. The five thousand years. years. Yes, years. They're good to me. Oh, but she but instead, that, she she tells puts like... the thing in the thing yeah, and unlocks the here. new enemy type, which is a stone monkey. Yes. Uh, yeah, so this is like... a um, bad guy in... Is it Skyward Sword? Uh, you're thinking of Tomb Raider. <laughs> this is the moment of the film. <laughs> the moment of the film where everyone becomes okay with magic very quickly. Yeah, yeah. because it's just all weird. Like, the the, stat, the stone things did look pretty cool, yeah, actually. Was cool. We love like, a stone golem. It, it was a theoretically yeah. cool fight I'm surprised fight they scene. didn't, you know, put them in the water. <laughs> yeah. And again, the only... Because as we all know, Rox doesn't fly. Rox doesn't fly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> she does a really cool reload thing, and that's about the only exciting thing about this fucking fight scene. Yeah. Oh, she she has the uh, boss level where she has to fight the big stone person. Yes, yeah, so where she shoots it in the face and it just turns its head, and there's another one. Yeah, and then instead she uses the swingy thing and 
swings it into it. Yeah, because it's the, the, the boss with the grabbed. with the big the big sword. The big stabby thing. Oh yeah, yeah. he pulls the sword and there's so, there's which so was much really like... cool and then fuck yeah. it was so like it's so yeah. cool but there's no energy to it. That's the, yeah. the no. all of the fight scenes is And really like it was cool. weirdly bad motion capture for a lot of yeah. his animation. And also like a lot of it there's a lot of unnecessary slow mo. Yeah. Yeah. Of, like when when like when she Those um, are the quick time events. The thing with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've got to mash She's got up. to pass them. Yeah, and then yeah, mash the buttons as quick as you can, or press the right button at the right time. Yeah, and then as per standard, she doesn't escape. Escaping happens to her, where she gets lifted up by one of the ro- one of the stone things and taken out into the daylight, and it explodes into dust. And she's free. And then she just has to run away from human people, which is just kind of boring at this point because you know she yeah, can't do she's it. just running after magic has happened, and everyone's really cool with it. I and don't she's get like, why everyone's Ooh, so chill. I can... With magic, mm, I, I, you know, I'm not going to be best friends with this dude because I've got something he wants. It's like, why wouldn't he just keep trying to kill you? Yeah, exactly. She's like, I, I will help him get the second piece of triangle, like the you know world's slowest, so... most boring game of Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> That's Have not you know, the slowest I... game of Trivial Pursuit. That no, game could is... go on for <laughs> decades. <laughs> this is also not boring. Like this would be exciting compared to Trivial Pursuit. If if yeah, Trivial point, Pursuit, yeah. if you played Trivial Pursuit and they were like, you need to go to Cambodia, find this ancient temple kill some work out which one of these two things is the real thing do it by the time the sun hits it just right and then when you do you're gonna have to fight off some stone golems and then if you get the question about geography wrong sorry you don't get the piece no you don't get the then you have to answer the question if that yeah. was is trivial this the pursuit, plot be for a... the third jumanji not... film <laughs> but that was just what <laughs> yeah i mean that yeah. was just that scene from we just what i talked about that would be a really cool version of Trivia. It'd be expensive. It'd be an expensive yeah. version. And magical is the other thing. You'd yeah. need magic. So it's Jumanji. Cool. It's Jumanji. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah. Instead, they go to somewhere really cold. I think it's Siberia. They're speaking Russian. Yeah, they're trying to get the second half of the triangle and they have to go into the dead zone where things don't work and she, so they get dog sleds one thing i do remember is she does say something about pegging him but i don't think it was in was that <laughs> cut in the bbc one because i don't know no no that. no no not like in the terms of pegging but she's like i'm going to peg him and it's in terms of like i'm gonna get him I don't know why they chose the term peg um, <laughs> yeah. it really stuck out to me um but yeah no because he's in that he's like she calls her nerd friend, her tech friend, yeah, the guy in the car, and she's like, get to Venice, and then puts oh, yeah. the phone down, because they need to go to Venice, which is like, she just says get to Venice and then puts the phone down. There are quite a few Venices. I yeah, but I mean, she's Italy. British. She only means real Venice. Yeah. Yes, and but and there's only going to be one place in Venice that they know to meet. Yeah, <laughs> go to Venice. Uh, where? <laughs> go to where our I holiday like... home in Venice. I think that was like put down, the phone put down and then immediately rung back and be like, you're going to have to give me a few more details. <laughs> now you text, you text the rest later <laughs> off screen. T- <laughs> in 2002, that would take so long. A, A, 2222244. You know, you have the whole like... Nah, don't you remember it. how quick you were at texting at that age? No. <laughs> oh, she that might have like a... <laughs> yeah. Did you have a BlackBerry we already... then? No, was we it already BlackBerry time that. then? No, I didn't have a BlackBerry, no. Unless you had one of those like folding out keyboards phones. Yeah. Oh shit! No, I think I did actually. <laughs> oh, where it slid sideways. Yeah. It... I had one where it opened so the screen was in the middle and you had a bit of keyboard each side. Oh, wow. oh that sounds awful to you. That sounded really <laughs> cool back then. That sounds like hell now. Yeah, it sounds real bad. That sounds like I, that would be just awful to use. That would, you know, like in phones, you can like separate your keyboard to two different sides of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. I've never known anyone do that. I've no, literally so it's for psychopaths. Do that. Yeah, it's, Every now and then, is. I accidentally make my f- keyboard on my phone really small, and then I can't work out how to do it when I actually need to because I've got one of those dumb big phones that um, this keyboard's too big for me to text <laughs> on one hand. Uh, yeah. So it's like you know, I'll give it a go, but every now and then I'll get a you know have to press like a T or something, and I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. Yeah. So Lara Croft is not texting the details to Venice. <laughs> Is what we're getting back to. <laughs> yeah, because that's where she ends up meeting Daniel Craig from his shower scene. Yeah. Yeah. No, before that, she has the, we have the big reveal of like, her dad was in the Illuminati. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this... There's a lot of stuff that happens in this film. Because the Illuminati the want to film. use the power for good, right? Well, fear no. Sh- no. Shoot they want to use it for, so they want to use it for something, and 
Jorah Mormont wants to not. Yeah. I don't think it's really... But they need to get to Siberia said. to find the last, the other half of the triangle to do time stuff. It's never quite clear what anyone's plan is. No, it's a big magical triangle that does something. And when they're trying to get to this next area, they have a, a new mechanic which uses once, which is the uh, walls where next to it is a bell and you ring it and then the wall explodes. Yeah. Yep. Real difficult puzzle. <laughs> yeah. You, it you might press as well have X just had when you X, walk up to it. It might as well have just like yeah been highlighted and said press X to ring bell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the first one. That's the tutorial one. And then as you go through the level and they had to cut it for time because it took her two hours to work out the puzzle. <laughs> but we are coming up to my favorite line. Ooh, which is that? Is it while they're inside the big spinning solar system cave of death? Yes. Nice. Yeah. So they they find like an underground sphere of death thing. It's a big solar system. It's a big, it's what are they called? The planetary Armillary sphere. Yeah. They're called armillary spheres. I don't know, they needed to do a puzzle, I think. She has to get the bit of the triangle out, and instead of us learning what the puzzle is, she climbs all over it and then puts the key in something and teleports into the sun. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it's in a weird metallic liquid that burns her and yeah. that never comes up again. I assume that's time juice? Well, Probably. yeah, because they go through... Remember, the, the dogs jump through something and he goes, oh, what's that? And she goes, it's a time storm. Favourite line of the film. Mostly because at that point I had to stop watching... Um, well, straight after, <laughs> and then um, I had to rewatch. I had to like go back today and watch the last that last like half hour of the film. My TV does not like apps at the best of times. It has a deep seated hatred for a seated hatred for iPlayer for whatever reason. So I watched that scene like four times because it kept crashing shortly <laughs> after she went. It's a time storm. It's a, oh no! Well, do you know where that is? Do you know what that it's is? It's a time storm. <laughs> <laughs> it was the time storm. And then we it? watched them basically play hardcore total wipeout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And then they they get the two halves put together and then someone gets shot. So yeah, the guy basically the guy that was supposed to be running the show but wasn't. Uh, yeah, the he real, takes well, oh, he, yeah. he like puts is about to put it together. The other guy the the bad guy, the real bad guy, is like, Enough of this twaddle. Also very and good. Because you know, that's how British people yeah. talk. Yeah. They say Uranus and Twaddle. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, he gets shot, which I like. I know, I understand, like, it was meant to be the big villain reveal. Um, but it was it always just felt evil. Like... It's like, no shit. Yeah. Uh, but it yeah, just felt like the he was. The time he was the villain. He just felt like he was tired of listening to this other guy go on and on. <laughs> it's like, I've had enough. <laughs> Fucking hurry. <laughs> do the Illuminati shit. Do the time shit. I don't know yeah. what the time. It kind thing of reminds is. me of video games, like you know, when I think Fallout does this as well, where like you have the option to like talk to someone, or you can just shoot them. Yeah, yeah. So That's it's like, like, yeah. Do I, yeah, go through all the dialogue options if I know that I'm just going to shoot them anyway, and I've already died in this cut after this cut scene. You know? Yeah, just skip the skip the dialogue, shoot them in the head, take the key off of the body. You know what? Yeah. Maybe this is closer to the video games than I thought yeah. it was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When they're like, yeah, the plot's boring, we'll skip it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I forgot how yeah, so he 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 throws a knife at Daniel Craig and he falls so he falls into the, the water and then and she's like, they can't complete the triangle did. and she's like there's if I throw the key into the time storm, there's a tiny little grain of it and that will mean I get the yeah, triangle. Yeah, it's the actual pack. glowy bit in and the middle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and then they have to run up a pyramid and she uh, button mashes the fastest, so she gets there first. Why does she give a shit that Daniel Craig is dead? Um, They're never set uh, up as dick. like a couple in the film. They're never set up as like a yeah, romantic no, it's, thing it's, in the it's film. It's really not, it's just like... No. They just oh, know no, each other. Yeah. It's like they've had something in the past and... But it's never like... I know, they, they don't, there's no chemistry between them at all. No. No. It feels really out of nowhere that they're like, save him, you love him. I barely know him. And then she, she does like some time manipulation while she has time because she speaks to her dad and he's like, no, don't do it. Don't, uh, don't bring me back. Just destroy it. Mm. I've been dead for over 20 years, Lara. It's fine. <laughs> I've got I've you to it. With it. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> you should it's really... actually really nice Maybe down here. Maybe you could spend some of your money on therapy. <laughs> you could... <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe don't live in that big house anymore. Yeah, so I, I do like the way that she saves Daniel Craig by very turning slowly, the knife around. Very slowly yeah. manipulating yeah. time, yeah. Yeah, turns the knife around and it stabs Jorah in the yep. 
chest or something. But he still manages to jump up later on for another uh, for the no guns boss level. Yes, and then um, that's and they have a good. So fight because she then destroys the time in. thingy, time pebble. He's mad, but also the time tomb starts to collapse because it wouldn't be tomb chamber unless you know they absolutely yeah. destroyed everything yeah. they found. You don't get the escape scene at the end, and everyone is so chill. Everyone is so chill about magic being real. Well, she might, yeah, everyone else escapes while it falls apart, and then she has to get the dog sled, yep. which they left the dogs in there to die, I guess. Well, yeah, and they all run out, and then he um, he is like, ha, 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 well, you better run, <laughs> because I'm going to die in here with your dad's pocket watch. And she's like, oh, no, I actually do want that. And they're like, Oh, Mate. no, if I hadn't hit dad's last watch with a hammer. <laughs> 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 Um, so she runs back in to go get the pocket yeah. watch and then has to, yeah, do the video gameiest slalom Escape down a uh, hill. Mm. Yeah. And it was then, fun, though. And yeah. she, like, laughs maniacally as well, which was kind of cool. Yeah. And then that's pretty much it for the yeah. pilot. I mean, you get the. Shit. Yeah, she gets back, the robot's back, and she's like, oh, guns time. Mm-hmm. And then it starts playing, Where's your head? Yeah. Only good, only good music in the film is the music at the end of the film. Yeah. I yeah. swear the rest of it was like weird royalty free, like already written orchestral stuff. Yeah, it was just like weird, like rock techno stuff. Yeah, just and then suddenly like atmospheric paced, violins. So why? I, I know you said you didn't really enjoy it that much, Mikey, but yeah. what what are more reasons that you don't think it held up? Um, I all of the action films are so bland, and there's so much like nothing going on. Like th- there's there's so much like. It's like you have to have plot and then fight scene and then plot and then rather than the fight scenes actually leading to anything. And they're they're just joyless. They're just like empty, and or well, none of the plot really makes sense. It's all just like oh stuff is happening and and like Lara Croft just happens to be in the right place or things happen to her. She doesn't really make that many decisions. I don't know. It just it was just boring. It was just really dull. And I really I used to really like it because I liked the fight scenes and everything. I think I just watched better films. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I know what you mean. You don't see her actually solving any of the puzzles, or like, and it doesn't really doesn't give you seem... the opportunity to solve the puzzles yourself either. Like a good, you know, yeah. the part, the fun things about watching good mysteries is yeah. when you kind of get to at least think you're working it out along the way, even if you, yeah, you know, exactly. they they pull a twist of ruin, like, you know, it it was something else in the end. At least you've had that kind of fun experience of trying to work out who did it or what was happening exactly because she's not exactly made out to be like a smart character in this when like she does solve all those puzzles and stuff in the game yeah yeah yeah, yeah she's definitely I, I, really watered although i guess down. that is technically you not, yeah. not even the puzzles bits it was just like like she doesn't find the box it just sort of happens to be like it just happens to start ticking to get her attention she there's no yeah. like reason she found it other than it started ticking the illuminati shit's stupid there's no real reason that they're doing anything. They're just like, ah, oh, the time magic. We're yeah, well, it was the it. meteor. Didn't the meteor fall last time the planets all aligned? Yeah, but they're like, we're going to use it to get vague power. I think that, that's kind of what I found really boring about it. And again, just fucking disappointing, really, because I, I really liked this film as a kid. I had a massive cardboard cutout. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this film. Thing is, I think I'm remembering the second one a lot more with like I don't know if that's because I just haven't had it ruined for me yet. So I've Maybe. still got this weird like, but it's not that bad. But I was um, I watched the second film a hell of a lot more. I think. Yeah, I think the second one was on TV, TV more. Yeah, that would yeah. probably be why. Um, Vaguely remembering the second one, I might also just be in a yeah. bad mood. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're, we're all a bit tired, all a bit hungry. But, but I don't know, it just. I don't know. It didn't. It just didn't hold up for me, like at all. Um, yeah. And I think, like, because of that, that total, I think I'll give it like a four. Um, Chekhov's killer robots hmm. out of ten, <laughs> because yeah, it, it just didn't hold up. It was bad. It was like it was boring. It wasn't fun. Bad. It was just kind of boring for me. Yeah, yeah. I still enjoyed it. Like I, I think I like. It's just kind of. It's one of those films that I like letting wash over me. Like, none of the plot matters. I can pop out and get a snack and know for certain I'm not going to miss anything worth, you know, that's going to, like, make the plot confusing or difficult. And it's one of those films that I just really like Angelina Jolie. I like the um, the British, the butler guy from Red Dwarf. Oh, yeah, I can't remember his name, but I know who you mean. Uh, Rimmer from 
Yeah, uh, from Red Dwarf. Anyway, I, I really like him. I think because I really like Red Dwarf. And yeah, I just think it's it's kind of fun and dopey. But yeah, the plot is garbage. It's one of those films that I'm watching it and I'm like, this is bad. But then the other part of me is like, oh, but go on then. <laughs> Keep watching. I wish um, the again the butler did more. Yeah. That kind of thing. I just wish that there was more involved. But yeah, I, I think not. it is frustrating. Like it could have been they could have lent more into the comedy, and yeah. had it like you know her being kind of bewildered and cross that all this is happening to her. Because she obviously, you know, a big part of it is that she hasn't really done anything to make it happen. Yeah. Um, apart from accidentally dob herself in it by, like, asking people about it and, yeah. like, demonstrating that she knows. Also, that was frustrating. Was like, she knows that they've cottoned on to her because she doesn't bring it. She only brings photos to see that guy mm. um, who turns out to be the big baddie. So why does she leave it, like, open in, like, the glass safe room? Yeah. Why not at least, you know, hide it? Or put no. it in some Hide it in some sort of hidden room behind a staircase or something. <laughs> because, because then you wouldn't have plot happen. And that's kind yeah. of the problem, is there's so much shit that's just there. It doesn't make any sense, but it's there. it needs to progress the plot. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, just, that's the sort of thing that is kind of forgivable in a video game because that's not really what you're bothered about. But in a film, in it's a film, kind it, of important. It, so I'm going to give it... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think four and a half shower scenes that they're, you know... <laughs> Should have been. Might have made it a better film. It was weirdly herbal essences, the first shower scene. Yeah. Um, it made me a bit, like, not uncomfortable. But I don't know. Like, I just... I have I have so much affection for this film, and I'm still... I feel like I'm in denial currently about how bad <laughs> it is, whereas you have gone... You know, you're in the, like, <laughs> acceptance fun. stage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Or maybe anger. I'm it. not sure. You rated it lower than I thought you were going to, to be honest, Helen, or after how, how much you were talking about it, and it sounded like you were about on the same page as me, because I was going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, I mean, I, I yeah, enjoyed the film, just... I just don't think it's good. Oh yeah, no, like, 6 out of 10 for enjoying it, but yeah, it's probably like a 5 for actual movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, yeah, like I, I, I don't know, I, I just enjoyed I do kind of want to watch the yeah. second one now. I, I don't oh, know yeah, if that's we'll just because I want to be extra disappointed. <laughs> I'm not disappointed enough, but well, you've got to save it until we do the next recording. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. definitely do Shall that. Shall we wait one. until it's on iPlayer or Channel Four? <laughs> it already is. <laughs> is it? Is oh, the wow. second one on yeah. iPlayer? Right, the second we'll, one's on iPlayer we'll already. Watch the second so. one at some point. Oh, see if we do. think is that's yeah. better. We've got to do it in the next seven days, or it'll definitely have gone, and we'll have to fork out for it. Yeah. So yeah, I was going to give this. Yeah, let's say five times I failed the quick time events and had to reload from a previous save. You mm. bully into those little dime. You didn't play it, don't worry. It's going to make a reference. You didn't play the game. <laughs> the listeners Three. might have played it. The little diamonds that you had to save out that just kind of floated around the maps before you could. There, there was one where you couldn't save wherever you wanted. You had to save at the diamond. And it was a fucking ball lake. That sounds very annoying. And then they made it so you could save wherever. And I remember at one point I yeah. saved midair and kept dying over and over. It was really funny. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, old um, older PS... Because uh, the first console I had that you could have played a Tomb Raider game on was a PlayStation 1. Yeah. And most of those games, like, yeah, you only had, like, set save points. Like, you couldn't... You had, like, because of the way the games mm. loaded. Yeah, the they were... Back in the day. Difficult as well. I had one game that you couldn't actually save. Oh, no. Nikki's Wild sort of Adventure. Had that. I had the game, oh yeah, the game that you didn't know how to save. Uh, yeah, I had a PS2 and I don't think I had a save card, so I played the first level of Abe's Odyssey so many times. Kids wow. are stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, enough of that twaddle. I've been Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Michael. <laughs> I've been Helena. Uh, you can find this podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Hilton Pod. That's at H-I-L-T-M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. And we also have a Patreon um, where you can give us money to help support the show. But also, on our Patreon, if you sign up, you'll find the secret code that if you enter, you get to listen to this episode where we're all naked. Wait, what? Did you guys never hear about that hidden... There was supposedly a cheat code for Tomb Raider where it would make the character naked. It never existed, but it was like a, it exists, a thing that uh, everyone thought was real. An urban legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. an urban legend thing. I do remember it. it just... I wish you'd told us that first before you made that joke, because <laughs> I was like, 
I didn't. Were we supposed to record this naked? Just like, <laughs> no, we we're, hit we're a doing new goal on Patreon. We have, to, <laughs> we have to record it a second time. Oh, man, are we gonna have to Starship <laughs> Troopers it up? <laughs> yeah, not the most exciting thing. It's audio.